next, the first thing you're going to need is the power cord and the clip. And then you get this leg again. You get the loop through the power cord and pull it. And then these two push that through the loop. Oops, push that through the loop and then just keep pulling it through. So just go to this bit. Alright. So you've got so you've got that. So then you just after that you pull that as tight as you can get it. And then what you do is you get this end of it. So you need to make sure that it's all perfectly lined up. I'm gonna wait for it to focus now. That's just great. There you go. So if I get this bit over here, and then if I just keep pulling this bit, see the power cord's too big as a screen. So now I've got my two ends, and then here you need to put this one through here, and then this one through here. If it's wrong, you can always retake it off. Sometimes I get it wrong. Oh, this end's frayed. So difficult to get it through. Got it. Then you pull it again. And now this should be able to clip into a full circle without anything twisting. So if it does twist you can always because I've got a bit of a twist in it there. So I just swap over the two bands like that. But there you go. So then you've got a full circle. So then you need to measure your arm on it. So I'm going to go with about that size. So then I unclip it at about that size to try not to lose where you've clipped it. If you have, you can always make a rough estimate on where to reclip it. So then you get these two ends and flick them out to the side so it will be easier to tell what to do. Okay. Right, so the first thing you need to do is make the knot at the this end. So what you're going to do for that is you're going to get the right side, which is this one here, and then you've also got the left one over here, and you're going to take it over the two in the middle, yeah? But then it needs to go, and it goes over the one then it goes over the left one, right? And then you get the left one, and basically, you take the left one over the um, right one, and it's basically, it looks like it's hugging it, well, not hugging it, taking it away. And then you go under the two in the middle, and then over the one at the end. So it should look a bit like that so you got this one going over the right under the two in the middle and then back over the right and then the right goes under the left over the two in the middle and back under the right and then you just I mean back under the left and then you just pull it tight but you got to be careful it doesn't move so I always find it helps to hold this one here but I'm just gonna hold that with my arm and then I'm just gonna pull it tight and then make sure I don't get caught on the clip or anything so it should look a bit like this wait right hang on I need to pull this a bit more tighter right hoping that's tight enough so it should look a bit like that okay and then the next few steps are pretty simple, I think. I'm not sure if you will. And so what you got to do is you get this and it's like making an S over the two in the middle. So you make an S over the two in the middle, hold it there. And then you get this one, take it over all of them. And then you take it 
under the two in the middle after that and then back through this one here and then you just pull it tightly so I always find it helps again to hold down here so it stops it from sliding anywhere or anything and then you should make your first loop and then you just keep repeating that so make an S over the two in the middle then take the right one over everything then over, under the two in the middle after then back through the bottom loop of the S and then you just keep pulling it tightly but don't pull it too tight or it'll just look wonky because like everything will go to the side so then you'll make two and now just keep repeating this for you right so make an S take the right one over those under the two in the middle after then back through the loop like that and then you just keep pulling that don't pull it too tight or everything will just go down to the side so so far you should have something that looks a bit like that okay and then I'll just make it I'll do it one more time then go into a time lapse so over into an S shape and the right one goes under well over everything under the two in the middle and then back through the S so it should be like that so yeah and then pull it tightly and then you made a loop and now we're going to tap So to make them more scrunched up, you can just push them up a bit like that and then it'll just look, to look a bit more scrunched up. So I'll just keep carrying on with the time. so it's kind of made it a bit curly but oh well so if I, I just make them straight I just go like that and then we'll just make them straight again so yeah anyway I've got I think I can fit one or two more in here you're just going to make them smaller at the end so it gets really hard and it's really fiddly with your fingers 
So I'm just going to pull it really tight, this end one, so it doesn't come undone. Right, so now I just need to cut the ends off, so I'm not going to cut them too far because I need to, yeah. Right, these scissors are amazing. No. Anyway, so once you've cut the ends off, you can glue them and you can fire them, but I'm well, not fire them. You can set a light to them. But I'm not going to do that, so I did my last one, but I'm not going to on this one. So there you have it, it's the paracord bracelet. So if I just clip that, so I'm going to turn it around. Wait, yeah. And then I have the bracelet. Hi guys, so make sure you like and subscribe and follow my Instagram which should be in this top corner up here, so up there. So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya!